Hello, my name is Minna Nanaku and I'm a specialist advisory teacher from Greenwich Autism Outreach Service. My name is Sophia Ricketts and I'm the team leader for the Tribunal and Compliance team in the SEND Assessment and Review Service. An autistic child or young person might experience challenges in relation to their physical bodies and how they experience them. This could include challenges with eating a healthy, balanced diet, including eating a wide range of foods because sensory issues may encourage them to seek or avoid certain foods. Eating non-food items linked to the need for sensory feedback. The inability to decipher between food and non-food items or possible nutrition deficiencies. It may also be a challenge for the child to develop a healthy sleep pattern for reasons such as difficulties winding down at night, seeking sensory input which, which makes it difficult to rest, not understanding the expectation that night time is for sleeping or experiencing anxiety, particularly for older children. An autistic child may find it challenging to learn how to use the toilet for reasons such as not understanding the relationship between emptying their bladder or bowels and the toilet, not understanding the expectation that they should use the toilet, fears of using the toilet or other sensory issues associated with using the toilet. An autistic child or young person may require support because they might not be influenced by social norms that sometimes inform behaviour related to our physical bodies. For example, some autistic children can be reluctant to have their hair or teeth brushed. They might experience difficulty in relation to execute the functioning, which is the capacity to think, plan and do. This may impact the planning and the doing of self-care activities, such as matching clothes to weather. Some autistic children might find it difficult to develop self-care skills because of the rigidity in aspects of their behaviour. For example, if a parent has always helped their child put on their shoes, then why would they put on their own shoes? An autistic child may have trouble with relating a physical sensation to a bodily need, such as feeling hungry, thirsty or full. This is called interoception. They might be scared of the toilet in nursery or school and refuse to use toilets other than those at home. They might have a very limited diet and this might result in physical difficulties such as constipation. For some autistic children, their poor sleep pattern might impact on their mood and alertness during the day. Their poor sleep pattern also might have a very significant impact upon other members of their family, such as their siblings, if they share a bedroom. Clear routines around self-care and sleep can be helpful to support an autistic child to learn about their bodies. Visual steps in self-care tasks to help the child develop independence. For example, visual support showing the steps to use in the toilet or getting dressed can be helpful. Children or young people might need others to, to break down and teach the different steps of self-care tasks in a very clear way. Backward chaining, where you teach the last step first, working backward from the goal is a useful technique. Some children or young people benefit from gradual sensory exposure to help them manage sensory aspects. Social stories or comic strips can be helpful with supporting children around self-care issues and understanding their body. It might be helpful to consider if the child or young person has a sensory activity schedule in school or at home. And if not, discussing the development of one with professionals who know them well. Keeping a sleep diary may help to see 
if any pattern around sleep difficulties associated with the child's daily life, avoiding TV, computers, etc. before bedtime. Rewards to motivate the child to engage in expected behaviour, such as when they assist in getting dressed or when they try a new food. Introduce new foods in a non-threatening way. For example, messy play is beneficial to trying new foods as it exposes the child to different textures. When it comes to eating non-food items, reduction, replacement or reward for leaving could be useful. Seeking further advice or input from an occupational therapist, dietitian or GP can be helpful if progress is not being made. Working directly with parents and local partnership services, we're creating a series of videos to help and advise families who have an autistic child. In this series, we'll cover everything from how to speak with young people to dealing with everyday situations like dinner time or traveling. We'll give you tips and tricks that parents and professionals have learned through their own experiences and also teach you a little bit about what autism may mean for your child or young person. A very special thank you goes to the Greenwich Parent Care Participation Forum, who were instrumental in co-producing this series alongside professional services.